In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how to create a sheet metal drawing. And we're going to be using the part that you see on the screen. Now this part is called sheet metal drawing part located in your working files folder. Now before we go into the drawing mode, let's take a look at the part on the screen. This part consists of four louvers and one cutout. And all five of these features were inserted into the sheet metal part by going to the design library and either going into sheet metal for the D cutout or forming tools and louvers for the four louvers. So we have five features on this part which were created from the design library. Now we're ready to go into drawing mode. I will go to the file pull down menu, select make drawing from part. The dialog box appears for sheet format and size. I am going to select an A2 ANC landscape and select OK. Once a sheet appears on the screen, I need to place some views on the sheet. A couple ways to do that. One is to go to the View Layout tab and select the Model View feature. In this window, I'll select the part by double clicking. And then I am ready to place the front view right hand side view and the top view of the sheet metal part. And if I choose to, I can also place a pictorial view. And I am going to pull this pictorial view off in the corner. Up to this point, there is no difference from creating a sheet metal drawing as compared to creating any other sheet metal part drawing. What is different about sheet metal drawings is that you can create a flat pattern. So how do we add a flat pattern view to this sheet? One method is to go back to the view layout tab, reselect the model view, double click on the part file, and then scroll down inside of this window for more views, put a check mark in front of flat pattern. And when you go out to the screen, you will see a preview of a flat pattern. A faster way to place a flat pattern is to go to the task pane, select the view palette, and simply drag the flat pattern onto the screen. I'm going to go ahead and reposition this view and then zoom up on the view. Notice in this flat pattern, we see the bend lines as a faint gray line. We also see some text telling us the bend will be bent up at 90 degrees at a radius of 0 0.06. But wait a minute, this part was created in metric units, but this radius is displaying as inches. What happened here? I forgot to change my units. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. And now my bend radius is correct at 1.5 millimeters. Notice the text. You may be wondering, how was that placed? Can I modify it? Can I add to it? Or can I delete some of this information? And the answer is yes. You simply click on the view. The property manager opens. And as you scroll down, you will see a window for bend notes. And notice right now it's bend direction, bend angle, and bend radius. And those are the three pieces of information that you are seeing on each bend line. Now we can delete from this window or we can add additional information. Some of our options are bend direction, which is already showing up on the screen, supplementary angle, complementary angle, bend radius, bend order, and bend allowance. Let's go ahead and select bend order and notice the update. This is bend one, bend two, bend three, and then bend four. Let's go ahead and close out of the property manager and then expand the drawing view 16. I will also expand the sheet metal drawing and I am looking for the flat pattern. I'm gonna stretch this out just so we can see a little more of the feature manager tree. And notice if we want to hide the bend lines, we can simply right mouse click and hide. When you hide the bend lines, you will also be removing all of the notes. So if we say yes, that information disappears. 
I can always go back and show it. But then I need to go back and add the text. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing view like I did earlier and add or re-add that information. We also have this option here, bounding box, which a lot of people like to show on their flat patterns. It's currently displayed as hide. I'm gonna right mouse click and show it. And this is the bounding box. This is a size of sheet metal that would be needed to manufacture this part. So by showing the bounding box, you can actually pull dimensions from that bounding box and show them on your drawing. And this concludes our lesson on creating sheet metal drawings.